Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about how to remove and replace the visor on a Kberg Droid helmet. Right, visor change on a Kberg Droid, and we're also going to show you how to do the sun visor. So we'll start with the chin bar down and the visor up. Nice simple job on this helmet, and it all revolves around this lever here. So I'm just going to rotate this lever towards the back of the helmet and then we just simply pull the visor away. It's really, really simple. Like I said, same on the other side. Rotate this lever towards the back of the helmet, pull it away, really easy. So to replace it, as always, it's just the reverse, but there are two key bits. There are two tabs on this visor, one at the front, one at the back. So we are going to take this tab and we're gonna rest it just against the ledge that you can see here, because when I rotate this lever, it's gonna free some space for that tab to sit into place then this one will sit into place just there and then we release the lever and it's in place. So let's rest this tab on that ledge there, like I said, pull the lever, push it down into place, push at the front, seated, and there it is in place. So spin the helmet around and we're gonna put this tab against that lip just there and then turning this lever will create the space for that tab to sit down in place. We'll check the front sits into this groove here and then we'll release the lever. So tab against the lip, rotate the lever, push. Both of these are in place, release the lever. Operate the visor a couple of times just to check that everything's working as it should and that's fine. So to do the sun visor, a little bit trickier but it's still relatively simple. We'll start by lifting the chin bar out of the way. I'm also gonna lock that so pulling that tab back means that it's not gonna fall down and start interrupting with things. Lower the sun visor on the switch on top. I'm just gonna get something to keep the helmet safe while I do this. So grip the sun visor and pull it down. Also got my trusty O-ring pick. Need one of these, Kberg in their guide so you can use a screwdriver. My concern is scratching the visor, so I've got one of these for the job, but if you need to, just screwdriver will do this job. So we just pull this down and we can reveal that there's just a little tab in there that needs unhooking to release the visor. And there we go, that comes down. So we've got this channel here that just slots into that tab, and then that tab's operated when we lift and lower the visor. Now this is free, it's really simple. It's just a case of pulling this off a post that sits inside. Just pull, thought I'd locked that in place. Obviously not. Same on this side, just pull it. And now the sun visor's free. So when we come to replace it, these, this channel here, this groove, wraps around a white post that you can see between the EPS and the shell of the helmet. So the first step is to do both of those. So we feed this down into there, push it onto the post until we hear a click like that. Same on this side. Locate it with the post. Push till we hear the click. Like that. Now the slightly tricky job, although not terribly difficult, is just to get this tab here back in place. So we want to use this switch and hold it forward to stop the visor trying to move that tab back up inside the helmet. Then this here sits on top of the channel that you can see inside the helmet and just push until you hear it click into place. That's back in. That's operating exactly as it should now, all is fine. On the droid, and it's the same on the Duke, if you've got one of those, you always see a slight amount of sun visor poking out from the edge of the helmet. It's not anything to worry about, it's part of the design that is like that. So there we go, that's working fine. Unlock the chin bar, pull that back down. And that's how you remove and replace the visor and the sun visor on a Kberg droid helmet. Thanks for watching. 